Now, good one costs $1 and good two costs $2. You have a maximum budget of $20 to buy these goods. Create an equation to define this constraint. I have a budget of $20 would be greater than or equal to $1 times every item of good one plus $2 times however many units of good two I get. So I have 20 would be greater than or equal to x1 plus 2x2. Two two. So this is going to be our constraint, limiting x1 and x2. Now we can see from the previous question, the higher levels of combinations of x1 and x2 we can get, our satisfaction grows. So we do want more and more of x1 and x2. I don't know what x1 and x2 are. They could be time, they could be money, and we have assigned them dollar values, or they could be actual items but they are gonna increase our level of satisfaction. So this is our budget. We're going to sketch a graph of this constraint. To make the graph, I want x2 as a function of x1. So I'm gonna to wanna to transpose this equation to make x2 a function of x1. So I'm going to move x1 to this side of the equation. I get 20 minus x1 will be equal to 2x2. Generally, we keep the equal signs, assuming that it is the constraint. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So I have 10 minus 0 0.5 x1 will be equal to x2. So now that is the function that I'm going to try to graph here. So I'm going to go back to Excel, and you can see that the constraint is listed right here. 10 minus 0 0.5 x1. So I'm going to go to the column I created for the constraint. And I'm going to write is equal to 10 minus 0 0.5 times the corresponding x1 value. And I will just drag this down. And then I would plot the two. And I think we're OK with plotting things. So I'm just going to jump to the completed version. And there we have our constraint function right here. Do you guys see that constraint, the red hatched line? And we, why we're doing all of this plotting is because we're going to plot the two together. On one graph, what we see is this. 